So I have the AC running now and it's plugged in. All right. Um, the good thing about this vehicle is even if you're on shore power and have the engine running, you can still even turn on the generator. Awesome. There's a pass through. So the older ones, you know, if you had it plugged in, you turn on, they boom, plug right. each other. Now everything flows nice around each other so you can, you can keep it going. Awesome. What we'll do is we'll start from the door. Okay. Work all the way around, back to the door. Okay. And then head off inside. Okay. And I actually have some. Here we go. I'll ask my questions when you get around to oh, okay. the thing I want. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll just start with the storage. easy, easy through the storage. You do have a handle back here to open up the other ones. Yep, yep. Now inside this, it just it does go up on top if you need do need some others. This is just your inverter. Yep. Two thousand watt. Yep. Everything's good to go on here. So all this can be controlled inside, but yep. this is just in case you need to do anything on out here. Sure. And then. I didn't see any switches for these lights, which means they're all banned. There's going to be a switch on the side for all your, okay. your basement storage. Cool. But cool. the cool thing about these, though, is the if you see, there's a little cap right here, plug. You can pull that out and insert a, a, an adapter that's a motion sensing on off. So you can go oh, on really? off, or when you open it, it'll turn on. Nice. I don't know how much they are. I just know that they make them. <laughs> Camera. Yep, yep. Interior is just like your regular interior of a car. Um, you do have programmable accessories up there. I think you have up to six of them, so you can wire any, tarps, any type of things that you wanted to put yep. in there. I don't think this is going, Sean. Yeah, if that red light's flashing, we're recording. Okay, because I can't see anything on the screen. I want to make sure. We're good. When we okay. get to it, this is the remote for your cameras and your monitor, okay. which is that up there. It's not going to be in your stereo. It's like usual, which I like it better up there, so you mm -hmm. can kind of look up. Right. And this just controls everything you need to know. Switch your cameras back and forth. And I believe it even has sound, so you can hear people back there. You know, you're reversing. Cool, yeah, cool. you can hear them scream in case you don't see them. <laughs> <laughs> We're hungry. We're hungry. <laughs> Why is God always telling me to stop? <laughs> it's breaking. What is What's it? What's the uh, carrying capacity on this sucker? 2200? Um, for towing or for the, just the passenger capacity? 2270. I'll know your stuff. <laughs> uh, well, we're going to load this sucker up. <laughs> I need to know that. <laughs> I'll open this up for you. Invisible crawl on here. Yeah. Cool. You will need a step ladder, I am short. Yep. Now, when this gets to about the second line up here, you want to start looking at changing it, changing it out. Um, other than that, it's just your basic, normal, fancy dancy engine. You, it is better to come into us or a, or a dealer to have yeah, everything definitely. serviced because of the just the specifics. They really like that's to have I the plan. That's why I bought that Lazy Days. Actually, I had another guy come in nine thousand dollars less yes. than y'all, but I bought it from y'all because I know y'all are everywhere. And Yep, and anywhere you take it, we'll have usually all the parts and we'll know how to get, you know, all the specialty oils that they like to have, yep, specialty yep. air filters and, and awesome. oil filters and all that. I do like these ones. The only other one I've seen that was in the same color was the four-wheel drive model. Well, this is four-wheel drive. Oh, is it? Yep. Apparently it doesn't have the decal. Have the oh, it just doesn't have the badge. Okay. Maybe that's one of the things for Granada. <laughs> <laughs> you know? The badges. The is that badges. much? Once again, just the other side of it, basic components. Um, if you need any other thing, you know, help with this. Yeah, just double check in here. Yep. 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 <laughs> That's important when a four-wheel drive is actually make sure it has a four-wheel drive. Okay, are the front hubs set to auto? Yes. Okay. Yes. Generator, owns 6,000. You can start it obviously from here if you need to, but everything else is also controlled from the inside panel. Is that 32 hours? It is at 32 hours. Has it all been changed? Oh no, it's only, I think it's 3.2. 3.2, okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not gonna be 32. We only, I only, we only put it on just to test it. Okay, cool. Factory in here. Um, off season, here's your breaker. Okay. You can try to leave that off if you're not gonna use it. I mean, it doesn't hurt if you leave it on, but we always, you know. Yeah. Sure. But on, and then you'll always prime it from in here or outside. Down like six seconds or something like that, and it starts. Oh, I just had it on too. Maybe it's because I have them in 
inside. Oh, there you go. Awesome. Okay, can I put a muffler on the generator exhaust to quiet it down without voiding any more? No. Okay. Snap pads are about the only thing I can do. Yeah. Okay. I mean, <laughs> if, if you get like a quick clamp on, uh -huh. you know, to where when you're camping, you could put it on, and then when you leave, you, you know, unscrew it. it, unscrew it, and bring it back off. Okay. No one's gonna know. You it's know? pretty quiet anyway. Yeah, but, yeah. Yeah. I mean, as long as you, you can remove it to where if you have to bring it in, gotcha. somebody's like, oh, you got a muffler, void the warranty. You know. Gotcha. Um, we have another couple that buys these and rents them out, and it's like, don't tell anybody you rent them out because that voids the warranty. Oh wow! He kept coming back with all these issues. Like, oh, wow. how are you guys breaking all this stuff? Oh man! He's like, he's like, we rent them. I was like, oh, that yeah, renters. Oh wow! I was like, yeah, don't tell them that because of void your warranty, you won't get any more repairs. Yeah. <laughs> oh mean. my gosh, that's terrible. He's like, well, I didn't. I don't rent them. I was like, I'm not gonna. I'm no snitch. <laughs> <laughs> but I know who is. Don't tell that guy. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where's the button that I press six times to reset the slides? To reset the slides. Now I'm gonna have to find that out on, on you, but I know that your your motor compartment. Is... I know I can do it with the Firefly thing inside. Yes. Or the now, controller. Here's the master control, so it's probably gonna be right Up on this there. one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They said you need like a pencil or a little. Something. Yep, that would be on here. This okay, is your cool. master control for your slides. Awesome. Because I remember I yeah when I did my pre walk. We don't sell too many of these, so this is like only my second one. Oh wow. You know because okay. we really just don't sell that many. Well, we just don't get them in. Right. Okay. I've only seen one on the road. Yeah, yeah. The whole time I've been traveling, I've only seen one. And we've only, I think we've only had three, and I've done two of them. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> so, All right, on, here's the important stuff. Yeah, okay. So you have your wastewater holding tank, which you can also get to from up, up top, and your uh, all your drain outlets. What kind of sensors are on those? Okay, so... As far as you know, just, just they're not the new sonar type sensors no. or the old style, old style. okay? Yeah, so you'll always go, you'll hook up. We recommend the clear acrylic hoses that uh, way you can see when everything's done, right? right. You, know, you don't and want clean. any surprises. <laughs> you'll always go black first, yep. mm -hmm. keep it open, and then you're gray in that order. Like going back, you know, boom, boom, right? Cool. Now, you want to, it's your city low point. Okay, so I think this is going to be... Oh. I'm so allergic to <laughs> you. Go away. Yeah, go away. <laughs> I'm so allergic. Like anything that can stay. There he goes. He went up on top. Okay, so... Where? There's usually a flank tank flush. It must be on the other side of this one. But every three to five dumps, there's a tank flush, and you'll want to hook right. up a hose and, and, and wash it out. Yeah. Now, here's a neat little trick that my grandpa taught me, is if you put a bag of ice down the toilet before you go to the dump station, as you're driving, just kind of, as you're pulling out, you know, do the little jerky break. And the and ice kinda, hits the yeah, sides. Hit the sides, kind of do a little quick one of these, like, you know, gotcha. like <laughs> Helen Keller trying to drive or something, you know. Just, That's how I drive normally. Right? And, that, and you know, it'll clean it out, and then. That's another beef line around. Oop, clean it out, and then it'll, It'll, it'll avoid getting the the uh, sensor cleaner. Cool. Okay. Sensor cleaner is like thirty dollars a bag. A bag of ice is two fifty. Oh right? yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Right. Three to five dumps. Yeah. I forgot okay. about the ice trick. Oh good. And cool. Then obviously your outdoor shower, which is kind of in a weird spot, I know. Well, you use um, that to clean up your hose when you're all. Your hose done. and just whatever else you need to. Or I've, the dog seen, if he's muddy. If <laughs> if you like to put it out oh, up yeah. here or something. I actually have an extra one of these I can give you that you could, if you wanted to find like, I don't know, like a sticky or just something, right, right. something to, that you wanted to mount other places, I can get, I can throw yeah. that down to you. Okay. Because somebody had ordered the whole shower unit, only needed this, so they left me all the extras. All the extras. <laughs> could we put it inside of here? No. Like no. in the back of here? Um, you'd have to open up your hot water heater all the time, and if yeah. that's running, it's going to be. That's not right, good. Right, right. It's a warm. Yeah. But, I don't really want anything stuck to the side. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's a good. I mean, if you can find a more secure spot, right? You yeah. know, it's not going to be because this is just a tankless. But when yeah. it goes, this really puts uh, out the. That's heat. awesome. There's, there was on the bottom. There was one thing that popped open. I don't know if it's important to put sure. it back in the I'll hole. <laughs> there we go. Okay. 
take that off to get the shower out easier. And then I'll give you guys my card as well. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Oops. I know it's uh, overwhelming. A lot of stuff that goes into these. So you can call me up to like nine o'clock at night. Okay. And answer and I get phone calls all the time. Okay. All the time. I'll probably cool. just shoot you a text. So I, I was even on the road to Louis or you know to Indiana to drive taking a, a Catalina back to the factory and customers were just calling me. <laughs> Which was nice because nobody went with me. So That's what I, say. I tried I to keep them on the phone as long as I could for the company. <laughs> what else you got going on, buddy? That's right. <laughs> <Any other> problems? <laughs> so uh, when you go to winterize or you know and all that, right. you only have one maintenance button right here. And that's okay. just the on and off. And our seasons usually we tell people two dates, Mother's Day and Halloween. Mother's Day, you know, start to take it out. Halloween, start to put it back in. So on Mother's Day, clip it on when you're ready to go. Halloween, turn it off. That's as simple as this gets. You really shouldn't need that's anything great. else to do because it's tankless. The only, well, you got a smaller unit. So it's nice. on now? Yes. Okay. Because um, we put a, a, about two thirds water in here just so we can kind of show you. Wonderful. I will drain that down to a third before you leave. Okay. Um, don't ever travel with a full tank. It's a lot of water. It's a lot of water. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. A guy that was driving kind of like one of these Montanas, I told him, don't fill the tank ever, you know, unless it's a third, because a third at least get, lets you help use the facilities, drink the water if you need to pull off and just use it. Right. It's like, I know what I'm doing, I'm smarter than you. He filled it up. Huh. Came back two days later, the tank shifted, dropped through, and came out the entire oh, bottom. Oh, no. Wires, everything, <gasps> everything. All right. Apparently, oh. he did not know more than me. <laughs> <laughs> water connection. Now. This is just, you know, for when you're hooked to the hose, the campsite or your house. Right. And you pre-pumped, pre-pressurized water. Right. Most important thing on this is a pressure regulator. Uh, make sure you get one. We sell them in here online as well. Make sure it's between 30 to 50 PSI, which most of them are standard. And that's okay. going to help you if you're at the campground, you pull in late, you know, your water pressure is low, you're thinking, great, you don't need a pressure regulator. That's because everybody else is using the water. Right. <laughs> all of a sudden in the morning when everybody leaves, it's gonna shoot right back up. Now you got 80 PSI and you just blew all your lines. Oh, wow. So okay. that pressure regulator is gonna save you a lot of money. Yeah. Okay. Same with the surge protector, which you might have one built in, I don't think so, but a surge protector for your for the camper that, that'll hook up right to here. Okay. Speaking of surge protector, there's your shore cord. Mm -hmm. It will go in, descend into there. Do y'all install, um, Air pumps. Um, I, guess. I can check. Tanks. Like a compressor. Okay. Yeah. We we do a lot of different conversions. I'll see, I can ask somebody if that's one of the ones we do because I know like we'll take units like these big fifth wells or something that only have like five plugs on an inverter, and we'll do a, a conversion to where we'll put on a bigger inverter and make the entire trailer run off that. So, so the whole thing will be 110. Oh, and wow. what's nice about doing it that way is if you have a couple solar panels on top. Solar panels go to the inverter, inverter to the converter. Now you have the entire trailer running off the sun for 110. That's you awesome. You plugged in, you don't have to do the generator. You, only, you don't have just the five plugs, you know. Let's get out of the sun. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and each, each of these down there. Both and right tanks. Right here. Tanks. Okay. Pumps from the back to the front. Now you do have a light, just real quick, on this to tell you that when you are good with power. Okay. So if that light's not on, then you know something that the wrong. box is probably gone bad okay. Okay. so maybe something right here where it's not getting the charge this also has one on it too uh -huh, so you i can a see backup. it cool so if that's yeah. on and that's on you're good to go you have cable satellite in only the other out is inside or on the other side where you put it to where the, it's going into TV. the tv gotcha. yep furnace you don't need to do anything in there if anything goes wrong with this come, come back <laughs> another storage another light awesome need that storage out of the sun you got your tow package <laughs> your seven in your four way cool ready to go you just need a sleeve and I can't remember what the sliding option was for I think it used to be a spare tire slide because huh. um, that's what on the older models or older but the previous models there was always a slide that would go in there and then the, the tire would the spare tire would slide up in there and go up in the back ladder obviously mm -hmm. up top you got your camera you got your propane. This does have a meter on it. It is uh, two thirds full, and it's ready to go. Cool. Extra LP. Are we able to set the hot water heater for electric only? Um, I looked on your on your um. Well, the hot water heater's uh insta hot, so it's I think it's always going to be gas. Okay. okay. Yeah. 
Now, what That's I've seen on, on yours, because you have the shorter model on this, on some of them, there's a design flaw in the Insta Hots where they don't put enough coil to hold the hot water. So, what they're finding is people turn on the hot water and it would be really quick and then be done with. And what that is, because you turn, they turn it on full blast, so that hot water is it doesn't have enough time to, you know, right. go around, mm -hmm. heat up, and then go down the faucet. So if that happens, if, which it shouldn't on this, but if it does, try slowing the flow of the hot water first and give it time to, to go around and then down the faucet. And Because if you go too fast, it's not heating it's up. All, I was yeah. also supposed to check to make sure the water valves were completely open on the outside to allow the full water flow into the hot water heater. Is that right? water valves on the outside from the from the city water connect because the only water valves on the outside are of the city water maybe connect. they're on the inside um i just read that that somebody didn't have one fully opened and that was causing them not to have enough hot water oh um probably uh the the water heater bypasses okay. and that was that on insta hot yes well? it was oh. on the thor this oh this, this yeah because yeah. i know on um on the ones that do have the 10 gallon tanks on the water heater bypass if they're not opened up all the way it it won't let that water out of the hot water heater but we'll look okay cool. <laughs> we will definitely look any answers the questions you have that i can't find we'll we'll find the tech that can awesome. another storage mm -hmm. pass through <laughs> this one oops <laughs> well, i always forget that these ones <laughs> plug gfci this goes to the the bathroom uh, that's where the GFCI is located, so if right. these ever pop, you're good to go in there. Good and then thing. your fresh water tank. So, that white, you know you have the city one, the one that right. cap was it, that's right. going to be your tank flush. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so that's going to, this is going to be your fresh water, that other one, that will be your be tank, tank flush. flush. Okay. Cool. We've already looked at your TV, it can have a soundbar, um, Bluetooth capable. If I remember right, this is also, um, FM radio as well. Wow. Yeah, he so. had it on a little while ago. <laughs> really good picture for just the antenna. Well, that's cool. Yeah. And you can add a sound bar. Usually, you know, you'll, you'll see the sound bar be put right in here. Let me just make sure this is the model. I have to see the sources. We don't tell Wash Bay that because they, yeah, FM radio and Bluetooth smart cool. so they can hook up to your phone. And that, um, this being on Bluetooth, should reach the stereo inside as well so that it should connect and you can just program the different yeah, sources cool. um this is where you'll go through your speakers and your and your pairing okay if you have any questions on your remote or anything just give me a call i only have to ask and say that now because we had this lady i delivered a trailer to in in, in delta and i gave her two walks um i gave her you know one here and i did another one when i got there i even hooked up her whole trailer and sure enough 20 minutes out of town you know, she couldn't figure out how to get in the front door. <laughs> and I was like, she, you know, she's like, I thought you were going to stay longer. I was like, I've given you two walks. You know, we just drove five hours yeah. over the mountains to get this to you. I hooked it up for free. I did all this. And then I think the last call I got from her was at 1030. And that's because she couldn't figure out just how to turn it to cable. Oh, that was it. And I was which, like, yeah, that's, yeah, <laughs> that shouldn't be your responsibility on well, how to I'm, work the TV. When I give people my card, you know, it's, it's, it's it's yeah. for every reason but right. you know sometimes you just have those people that really <laughs> mean every reason every <laughs> <laughs> i don't get channel I three. like i'm trying to cook macaroni in the microwave this should be a minute and a half or two minutes <laughs> it says it's supposed to be 1100 watt like, oh. is it the golden cheesy one or <laughs> <laughs> right. this is just your hydraulics and uh for well pretty much everything that you need is going to go through here hydraulic wise now here's you can hook up a bypass if you ever need to go do it manually i believe this is also the the plug where you pull and you can put in a, a crank a crank okay and i only know that from watching videos myself <laughs> they don't tell you any about that on the, on the when the manufacturers come through all right okay. inside right here on this thing you have your step on and off and your battery disconnect and also just a secondary right here it's just to turn on and off the step okay so this on and you shut it it'll stay out yep yep cool. step goes in goes out awesome when you're camping 
So when you does. drive off, it rips right off. <laughs> so it rips right off. Yeah. No, we'll always leave that on auto, I think. Yeah. Basic setup, everything is also right there. Okay. This is just so you don't have to keep climbing up and down. It just goes through all your amps, how much you're pushing, how much you're pulling. And you're shooting, and it's still charging right now because you have a solar going on. Cool. So as long as this is going good, we're still at 12.7. When it hits about 13.6, that's when we'll be ready to operate stuff. If it's not already at that, just turn on the engine, let it run for a couple minutes, everything will charge right back up, or you can hit the generator and it'll put these up. And never operate your slides without the engine being on. Right, right. Now you do need the engine on for your auto level system. Right. Now, I had the auto level system on earlier, and if we're gonna try it, I recommend we go to a flatter surface. We're at just enough of an angle where it pushed the whole front end off the ground. Okay. It lifted the front, which was amazing, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew it had that much power? I looked over and the wheel's like this far off. I was like, dang. It's like, I'm going to put this, I thought it was more level than that. Uh, basic storage, which is really nice. You got your closets. Storage all the way up and around. Mm -hmm. Speakers B, I think speakers A are in the back for the bedroom. Okay. You've got your control panels all the way around the unit. So you can, you've got your step well there. Obviously, your living room ceiling, cargo lights. Now, these, that's the master switch for all the all the lights in the bottom. So when you hit that, everything's lit up. Okay. So you always want to make sure when you're traveling that you know that this this lease is off, so you're not traveling with lights on underneath there. Right. And then you have your awning lights, which just go on the arms, and then we'll yeah, they're on the arms. So when it comes that's out, that's cool. Lights up the whole. I'll put them out since it's finally not a windy day. Well, here, like. <laughs> Looks like the I, smoke's clearing up some too. Well, I had to take uh, Coachman Catalina back to the factory. Oh wow! Um, and it's in Indiana, and it's, wow. it's supposed to only be a 16, 18 hour drive. But because I'm so used to these auto ones, or the ones you have to push out. So on these auto, you can just push this and it'll start to go out. Okay. Um, just make sure, you know. Nothing's in the way. Nothing's in the way. <laughs> Bump into your neighbor. So my 16 to 18 hour drive turned into three days. No. Because there was a 50 mile per hour crosswind plus. Oh no. From the minute I left Colorado border through Nebraska, Iowa, Illinois, Indiana. That was so bad because um, they didn't put a sway brace on my on the dually. So the whole time it was doing this, and then there was something wrong either with the truck suspension as well as the trailer, where the highway had like six foot concrete, you know, had to go Joints. in sections. Yeah. And so the back end of the truck was doing this, and then the wheels on the trailer. Oh, so yeah, they would, they would <laughs> oh, hit that. Geez. I was worried it was going to hit that resonance frequency right. where it was just going to whack. <laughs> so I can only do Jeez. like half the speed. Oh, all the way wow. there so the 16 turned it you know to a 32 mm -hmm. and then somewhere wow. in omaha the trailer tire on the driver's side shredded oh, just no. completely shredded and the factory when they put it on put the lug nuts on so tight they mushroomed the lugs <laughs> so i couldn't even get the lugs off it was just oh that's just not by a the time i got to coachman i wanted to just burn that trailer because <laughs> you know, it, it took me only 16 hours to get back have but, you heard of rv airflow it's a website. They sell styrofoam inserts that go into your air conditioner. So when the air comes down, it doesn't hit that flat plate. Oh, it goes into I've seen those. Gotcha. I have a guy that's in Colorado Springs that was looking for something. I'll have to tell him about that. What what type? These are Coleman Moth 5, 5, 15? 15. So okay. I think this is a 15 and a 13 okay. is usually how they go. They usually go with the smaller one in the back. Okay. Now, never turn them off at the same time, even though it's hard to with the control panel because it pulls enough amps or it, it pops everything. Okay. So turn on one, then turn on the other. Another important thing is never set it degrees. 20 degrees below the ambient outside temperature yeah. at first. So if it's 100, don't set it below 80. Wait till it kind of cycles down and then you can kind of right. just inch them down. Yep. Otherwise you're gonna freeze them up. Um, also, we'll go ahead and put these out, is make sure there's no weight on the, on the, the slide when you go out. Okay. <laughs> so we'll go here to the panel. Now what's cool about this panel, and your RV is everything can be controlled with an app. And the app, when you go into here, you'll just go into settings and you'll hit mobile app and you'll just scan that and it'll take you right to it and you'll hit in your codes. 
Once you do that, your phone can set out the slides, control the heat, turn on the generator, everything you need to do. So before you even walk up, you can you can impress everybody at the campsite and just be like, give it a minute, and All then right. I'll be ready. Cool. And that's what I love about it. So slides, and make sure there's no warnings. All right. Oh. We have to. They will have to do it on this one, huh? is on okay so this was one some of them are different some of them you have to have the key out some of them you have to have the key in but not on some you have to have the key in and turned on so the parking brake is on I don't know if you wanted to do it sure just we also ahead. need to turn off the interior proximity sensor the interior proximity I like it <laughs> because it'll go off he's been uh, studying I love for it. over a year I, to figure out I which one so you just best. have to turn it on, not actually on, on, but just in the Oh, position. okay. And then we have to make sure that your chassis bolts is set to, gets up to 13 2. So you might have to let it just charge just a little bit. Let me check your voltage. Chassis voltage it's is. Back here, we are, we're good to go. Should be good to go. <laughs> Bunk is locked if the ignition is on. Chassis and awnings are locked. Oh, slides are locked and awnings are locked still. So, at least it's nice about this thing is always tell you what you still need to do. Ignition is on, right? Yes. Parking Just, brake is on. Oh, parking brake. I should have the parking brake on because I had to have that on for the auto control. Okay. Let me pull in the, the awning. Yeah, the brake is on. I can see the light. Oh, now the awning's not going to go in because you have the ignition on. It's one thing that bugs me about this. <laughs> awning, the key has to be on for this, but it has to be off for the awnings. So, so off. Uh, okay, now we're going in with the awnings. All right. <laughs> I'll let you know when those are in, and we'll try the. It's on the way. I know. I really like the wood. Yeah. Have you ever known of any problem with that? No. Okay. No. Because that's like my that's favorite thing. That's one of my thing. favorite things, yeah. <laughs> that's where I've been to be I even like the them. accent lights that, that, that come on it. Yeah? The, yeah. Um, There's blue. Yeah, the blue lights. Oh, okay. All right, we are all the way in. Let's see. Shut the door. <laughs> Letting all the AC out, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> Slides are still on. Oh, you guys know the move. <laughs> <laughs> Movie theater move. I think it has to be on, yeah. yeah. There's a trick. Always, every, it's like every single model every year comes out with something new. There we go. <laughs> Yep. And also when you're doing the auto level, make sure nobody's in here walking around because right. it throws off the computer. So there's a vent in the floor over here that just magically appeared and that's the back. Is that probably heat. Probably heat. AC's up top, heat's on the bottom. Makes sense. And back out. Back. There we go. Cool. TV's already pre programmed. This does go into a bed as well. Mm -hmm. Your tanks are accessible. Um, this is just for your. The, the anchor to come in. The controls for here are right here, so we'll go ahead and open up your nice. Every time I see this, I'm a Star Trek fan. It reminds me of when they open up the uh, yeah, site. Like, oh, yeah. For sure. This is so freaking Enterprise. I know, it really is. It's awesome. It's awesome. Like, I expect to see the stars in space all flying by. I know. <laughs> I'm hoping to see a lot of stuff. Now, these are all manual, just oh, these lights. Okay. And kind of have to give them a good push. Right. And let's turn on the master so you can see all the lights on.
everything on now. So you got the, you said your accent lights come up. Mm -hmm. Those are all manual. Oh, on your ACs, these do pivot to where you need to. Cool. Good deal. You are going to be blowing construction debris out for a while. Okay. Uh, and it's, it bugs the, the cleaning crew because I'll clean it. Then we'll move it, turn on the AC, and then we'll come back out and be like, you guys need to come back out. <laughs> Why? We just cleaned it. It's like, well, there's dust everywhere. <laughs> are there upgraded filters for the air conditioners? Um, I am not sure if there are. I'm sure, you know, somebody does make them. Okay. Um, they're really easy to clean. You know, just pop them out, washer. Yep, yep. Now, these here, um, I always say to use for like a quick blast. So if you're just coming into the RV, it's really hot. You'll leave these open because it's just a quick dump burst out. chill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dump out. Otherwise, you close them up and it forces now the air okay. out and down. Cool. Awesome. Now, is this uh, fan the kind that if it rains, it closes automatically? Um, on this model, I do not know. Okay. Um, it didn't close when they left it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> poor David. <laughs> Apparently, that one's not controlled from this panel. Okay. But all the other ones, which is nice because I think this one does go in the bathroom. But these, oh, that is the bathroom. That way you can kind of pre plan, I guess. Get <laughs> <laughs> going. Like, yep, it's gonna, yep. let me just get it warmed up in there. <laughs> it's going to take it. It's going <laughs> to. Exactly. Yeah, this is the only one that's that did. Uh, it doesn't even have a button on it, so it is just completely manual. Okay. So I am going to say that this one is a no is on a the no auto on sensor. The <laughs> okay. No wire is going to it. Well. Which explains why it didn't open. Now you also do have, you know, the yeah the shades and the blind outs. Daytime. Yeah, nice. Which are really, really nice. I have to have a really dark one. I, I see. The controls for here are right there, and they also kind of go through the living room. That's just your basic, because it's just your accent, your hall, the slide are here you have pretty much the same control panel here this the only difference is this can also do the vents which is also right here <laughs> um, yes, cooking. <laughs> somebody yeah uh, it just there's it's nice to have redundant systems but your your water pump is also right here okay and we did also you know left that water the tank for a reason. So turn on your water pump. Oh wow, yeah. Nice flow. Mm -hmm. Cool. And you're good to go. Well, just your regular. You control everything from everything. You shouldn't have to walk more than three feet without having being able to control. Right. Or if you have your phone, you can just do it from where you're sitting. <laughs> nice deep cap. You awesome. do have to have the. Um, yeah, I got them. You do? Okay. Okay. Yep, yep. As then, long as the magnet sticks to the bottom, you're good to go. This sometimes takes a while to try to get the gas all the way through the lines, but it should. <laughs> right? <laughs> There it is. Takes a while to get that air out, but. Sure. Yep. You're good to go. Awesome. Um, your bag of everything. Now, I highly recommend you go through this, fill out every warranty card, including the one for the chassis. It's really important because if anything, they're the only ones that cover the chassis. We don't cover that. If it's into the chassis, it has to go back to the factory. Okay. okay. So if you don't fill that out, something happens, well. <laughs> that that savings good. that you took is just gone now. Yeah. And then here's just extra touch-up paints, which is very rare to come with, cool. but I'm cool. glad that they did. Storage, 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 storage. Mm -hmm. Microwave convection. If you don't know how to work a microwave, then the rest of the trailer is going to be so much more difficult. <laughs> yep. Tips out. And when you're traveling, some things type rattle as always mm -hmm. these are one of them if they do i see people will always just store them underneath here yep. um you have an extra water filter in your wrench right there cool refrigerator we left the protective stuff on um good deal it's up to you guys if you want to here. peel it off or if you want to leave it until it you sell it off. yep <laughs> everything's good to go on here it's been running i think just for just about an hour and it's already almost at temp awesome, awesome. so it's pretty good 
through this real quick. It's your standard operating board. Um, if you need any instructions on it, it's in, there's man videos, it's in your thing, but it's pretty much self-explanatory, you know. Open, close, you got all your stuff. You can turn your water pump on from here. Um, so if you want to go to the mobile app, you can go through there. If anything's going wrong, it's nice to have in here to where you can, you know, uh, give you like a tutorial. The generator has the auto gen start, which is really, really nice. Can we go ahead and set that up? Um, program it now? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, where do you want it to start and stop at? So when it's low voltage, I guess? Okay, so we want it to start at, we'll bring it down to, when it gets to pretty low, about 11. And we'll have it run for 10 minutes. Start, yeah, we're good at that. We'll have it stop at 14, three tries. Yeah, we're good to go. Cool. Quiet time start. You know, that's if you're at a campground where they don't, you know, allow the generator Between to start. certain times. Yeah, certain times. And all that, you got the 3.2 hours. And we will go ahead and enable. Awesome. Oh, do not enable without ensuring it's safe to do so. All right. There we go. Cool. You're set and you're programmed. Lights, everything good to go. Off, on for all of them or you can just go ahead and do manual on all of them. Cool. Temperature, you do have to hit each one if you want it to cool. I made that mistake and was wondering why I wouldn't cool with my very first unit because of the first pad. Um, I was like, did you hit cool? Of course I hit cool. I didn't hit cool. <laughs> <laughs> and just self, hmm. I mean, everything is pretty. That's why I like about these units. Nice. It's nice and easy. These are just your fans, like I said. Slide control. You can even help. It'll, it'll walk you through. It'll tell you what's locked and what's not. And then your settings. Like, through. Awesome. I do recommend getting the app. Though. Yeah. I mean, it's, oh, it's already installed on oh, my phone. Okay. Yeah. He's... See, look at you. And then here's <laughs> what I was telling you: is your your inverter, just your secondary control, so you don't have to keep going down the box. Everything that's on here is on the one outside. Cool. So it tells you what you're pushing, what you're pulling, and while we turn this off, you'll start hearing you know things click on and off. There's no reason to ever turn it off. There really okay. isn't. As long as it's on, your inverter's working, you never have to worry about anything not being at 110. Cool. You do have your backup computer here for your water heater. So this is what's gonna control everything that you need to go. And you can set the temperature, the highs and lows, and then just, that's pretty much all you need to do. So you, there is no gas or electric, because it's, you know, it's just automatic. I heard to set the temperature on that to what you wanted at the shower and to use this to regulate the heat? That would make sense. More so. Yeah, that would make more sense. Okay. And then your GFCI to reset any plug that does. Cool. You do have another water pump switch in here. You're good to go. And these are also, oh, they took out the manual lights this time. These used to be on a switch and manual, which was I always liked because then if it was too bright, you can adjust the light. Huh. Well, they gave things and took some things away. <laughs> Give and take, huh? Yep, yep. yep. Shower. You do have the nice shower head too, not the, the ones that they usually stick the ones like the one outside, the really cheapies. Yeah. That's nice. I just got a new apartment yesterday and they put in one of these big sunflower ones, but it's supposed to be the one that goes up and over. Well, they stuck it on a, on a stationary so it's head. Too close to so the it's wall. like this big and it's right in your face. <laughs> and I don't want to, it's just, I've been having issues with it. My, my place burned down. Oh no, uh, no! A month ago, so they finally got this one ready for me. Oh my gosh! I used to do construction for a living, like Governor's Mansions, John Elway's house, and stuff like oh, that. Nice. So they are not happy with my punch list. Yeah, I bet. Because they, they they didn't fill any holes. They so it looked like they took a machine gun and and or a paint. I was like, it's painting 101, ma'am. She's like, what? I said, you you fill first and then you paint. Right. Even, even you you know you cock this. Right. She's like, well. Well, <laughs> and I, I have such a sarcastic mouth. I was like, would you like them to come in here and, and I'll go through how to do it with them? I know, serious. Like maybe they just did, did, don't know. know YouTube exists on how to paint for right. now or just lazy paint. <laughs> storage, storage, which is really nice for your pantries. Lots of storage, Lots of storage which I really like about this one. Okay. Um, let's put out your bedroom slime, which you can get from there, but you can also not on this one. 
What's the button over there? Probably. <laughs> yes, and that's that's, that's going to bring me to a good point to tell you that I have learned from customers the hard way is when this the sitting try to keep everything closed and from the heat building up. Yeah. And the reason is is because a lot of the glues that they use is heat activated. So if it gets too hot, it, it starts to peel and bubble up mm. because it gets that hot. It's been only happening in a lot of the, the North Trail vibes. I've almost replaced every floor. Oh my because, gosh. Gosh. Because they let them sit in the heat, you know, before they transferred. All the glue activated, so paneling is mm. bad, bad, bad. Pocket door is just on a lock. So this is how you'll move it back and forth. So when you okay. push it down, it, it puts this little lock up here, and there's you'll see a little hole over here. Uh, so when it goes in, well, look at there. Nice. Handy dandy. It locks. Cool. And I just have to tell you that because a lot of people, after they get these, forget that's there, and they're like, I can't get it out. Yeah, can't get it out. <laughs> and it, right. <laughs> you can start the generator from here as well. This is the only switch that has the gen stop start. So if you're back here in the bedroom. Okay. You know, you can go ahead and start it. And there we go. Cool. And that is pretty quiet. Yeah. Already. Five amp. Oh, LP. Oh, okay. It's just your, just your LP meter. So we'll definitely get that a new five amp or put in there. Cool. But just like your regular house and car fuses, but I really like the, the LED light. So I'll make sure I replace that one. You guys, have you guys already gone through financing? No. Okay. So if there's anything that you see that needs done, you know, as we're going through, I'll take care of your financing. So far, it's just that fuse, which is you know, a five second fix. Cool. And then this is just your access water tank. to your, your water tank. Good stuff down in there. Yep, but you do have a, a, a little brain box here. Okay. And all your all your brains, all your computers, everything are all right in here. And you shouldn't have to go through that. That's for us, but just in case, you know. Now, would you suggest putting like a some kind of damp rid container or something in here to absorb any condensation that comes off the tank? I always like not only that, I always try to even see if you can get one of those uh, cheap water leak detectors, you know, if it senses any moisture, it'll, 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 it'll go off. Because it'll, it'll gotcha. this one area, you do not want moisture. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I always recommend a water meter for cool. a water alarm. Awesome. Storage, storage, storage. And that's pretty much it. I mean, that's why I like these models is they, they're customer friendly, nice and basic. Um, We're missing something in here. Okay. Unless that's supposed to be individually adjustable like that. You know what it looks like. Maybe just like a pin or something in there that holds them all together. Yeah, that's what it is. It's this little bar here. You see this little bar here that holds oh, them yeah, all together? Yeah, yeah. That's exactly what it is. That's what blew out when they opened it or it came out with the yeah. wrapping. I'll make, I'll make a, a note of that. At least that's an easy fix. These just pull out and push back in, but yeah. Cool. Okay, so we got the fuse and, oh, no, that's what I'm about. And, how should you say it? Front, left, fit. Cool. I like it, I like it. Unless they're post I'll be asked to see if maybe they're supposed to be like that. I can't imagine there being two now. Yeah, all these have them. Maybe it was just this. Well, it wouldn't make sense why two of them would just have it. <laughs> yeah, or, you know, two wouldn't. All right, well, I'll put two down. We'll mark it at two. Oh, we need to screw on that. Okay. <laughs> Fuse, two vents, and a new screw on that to put it in. And good, good segue to that. So these are just nine volts, just like your house battery, or cool. like your house 
So if it starts giving that annoying little beep. And then somewhere around here. Oh, right there. They hit it. Is your propane carbon monoxide detector? So okay. There is a reset button on this side, right on that little kind of bar that goes around. It's only going to go off for three different times. Obviously, one if there's a propane carbon monoxide leak. Two is if you have that door open and there's a car parked decently close, Blowing it'll it in. suck in and set it off. Three is coming out of dry storage, so your batteries are drained. You know, if, if you don't have it parked outside with the solar, if the solar's going, this will be okay. And It'll, it'll give you a low battery beep. It's just a real annoying, you know, loud beep. You can't miss it. Just hit the reset, obviously, you know, charge the batteries to the generator and it'll go off. Okay. I have to tell you this because, once again, it only takes one customer. We just did all, of, I just told him just exactly what I told you. He didn't pay attention. He heard the beep, couldn't figure it out. So he pulled it out, cut the wires, and brought it to us. Oh. Instead of just calling me oh, or no. somebody to say for help, and he. He wanted it to be covered by warranty, and it's oh, not. Wow. It's not at all. <laughs> right? There's, yeah, there's those types of people out there. <laughs> and just, did, did, you, uh, did you watch the video on how to turn this into a bed? I think there's a lever down there. A lever, and it just pushes down. Yep. 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 And then everything just kind of just pulls right in. Cool, cool. And then a little extra storage under yep. there. Extra storage. And then there's some extra hidden storage. Yep. There you go. <laughs> I, like, I like it when they know more than me on these, <laughs> especially when we don't get that many. Well, we've been studying. Well, and that's YouTube, good. YouTube. That's good. If I would have Definitely. had more prep time, I literally just drove into town yesterday. Straight. Oh, wow. I slept <laughs> nine hours and four days. And the rest of it was just drive, 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 drive. Jeez. So I pulled in. The first thing they asked me was like, are you working tomorrow? And I got it. I didn't even know it was Friday. I lost the whole day. So I'm thinking it's Thursday. I was like, yeah, it's Friday. I'm going to work on Friday. <laughs> How about Monday? Why are you asking me? It's <laughs> like, you didn't like, do that walk? I, I, I got out of the car just now. Um, and then it looks like this tube needs to be put in just a fast letter. Right there. Okay. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe over here on this side too. It looks a little. That one just looks like the, the rubber's just. I can put one to bring it in straight though. Like that. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's one thing that during COVID. I found a lot from not just from every company is that the quality control really went downhill. Yeah. And then here. Was that remote still up there that I was showing you for the uh, uh, it's back here. Oh, it's in the oh no, I was sitting on it. There oh, you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's not how you're supposed to press it. But I know. <laughs> you can just go right through your side. Oh, cool. Is that one underneath? Oh my goodness, that's really cool. You have a camera underneath? Oh, so that's just because it slides out. Oh, okay. It's like, wow, that's really, really cool. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool if you had one, though, underneath yeah, the chassis? Yeah, so I'd like one in sure. the front so you could see if there's something. Uh, once enough. I saw these side cameras, I'm going to put them on my Jeep just because <laughs> I'm that lazy, but I just hate looking. I have a bad neck, so. And then you can go through the menu. And you can turn up the volume, like I said, to hear people in the back. Crawl up here quick. It's very comfortable. Now, we've seen this option on here before, but sometimes it's they didn't have the microphone. So let me go back there and see if I can yell, if you can hear me make sure everything's on. Okay. okay. So I'll use the usual command, stop, please, no, don't kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Do I turn up the volume? Anything? No. No. Quit pushing buttons. I'm just turning up the volume to see if... Can we go back again? Right. <laughs> well, I thought he was inside. Yes, no? Nope. Like I said, a lot of times they came up with the option, but we've never seen the microphone ever actually on them. We always want one that actually works. Yeah. Huh. Which, which is really cool, though. At least that you can add that in. Yep. Not in the maybe heat, not. Maybe in the down here. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, you have the USB controls. You have all the 12 volts. 
got a plug which is really handy uh, we had one of those on the truck going and it was nice to have my laptop plugged in so I can mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. little shelf down there mm -hmm. cool very nice yep. very nice you guys have any questions or I the lane keeping system, does it actually guide you back in or does it to give you an audible warning? Um, it depends on the model. Um, the ones I've been in, it'll it'll correct for you. Nudge you back in a little bit. And here's the here's the issue that I had with the one I was in. I was driving the Mercedes one with the same changing system. And there was construction. Well, on the construction, they were doing a new road, so they curved you around. Mm -hmm. The lane sensing changed all the old paint that wasn't on so going through the construction zones with the lane changing on it was throwing me all over the road because oh, it was man. trying to sense the old lines mm -hmm. the new lines and it was just you know it was oh, almost wrecking man. me and then you also have, have the control buttons up top increase and sensitivity I found out when I didn't know what that button on the very far left is was uh, in, or was uh, exhaust braking Oh. So on these diesels. When they make that noise? Yeah. The right, right, right. It, it closed off the exhaust and it helped me out because I was going down some of those steep hills mm. with that trailer. It keeps you from, you know, braking too hard, too fast, and it keeps you nice and straight. Right. Yeah, his Volvo, I mean, it drives itself basically. Yeah. He touches the steering wheel every so often. Other than that, it stops it it's oh, amazing it's, it's, it's the cars nowadays are just oh i know cool so uh, there's a lot to, to learn turned but, off the uh, interior it's, sensors. It's, it's pretty user friendly yeah i mean it really is sync three and then it looks like you already have a brake control in case for your towing package which is really nice so you don't have to install that yes hopefully it won't be having to tow anything <laughs> right that's the plan anyways. Cool. Well, if you 